Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan coming at you with another Swiss Army Knife video. And uh, today I want to talk to you about the Victorinox Climber. And I think this video is going to be less of like, you know, the, one of those collector's kind of videos. And more just like uh, a video about a practical knife to carry um, that I think is super affordable and a very good choice. Um, so... I have all these, uh, these are all climbers, and I have them open for a couple reasons. First, I wanted to show you, like with these, you know, especially with this blade and scissors, that these tools, they're long, they really use up that length of the knife here. Um, you know, they don't really spare any other space, like you get a really nice big set of scissors and you get a really nice blade here. And then, of course, you get this, uh, these openers which are very, very useful. And, you know, I sing the praises of the compact a lot, but I feel like the climber is, you know, a very close second for me just as far as a good uh, urban EDC. Um, and I'll tell you why. Um, and some people might even prefer uh, this climber. Um, and a reason for that is you get these openers uh, with the climber, those classic Victorinox, uh, cap lifter, screwdriver, wire stripper, and a can, open, can opener, three millimeter screwdriver that also works with a lot of Phillips. So when you're carrying uh, a climber, this one has a little chip scale there, um, you're going to have that, that Phillips capability. So a lot of people prefer it for that reason. Um, the scissors, you know, they're great. You know, I don't think I really need to talk too much about the scissors. You know that they're awesome. Um, you get that with, with this climber. Um, you also, you know, get these really cool with these newer models. You get all these cool, uh, this is a climber plus, by the way, and I'll get to that. But you get this corkscrew that you can put this mini screwdriver in. You get the hook. That is useful. Look it up if you don't know how to use it. And then you get this reamer punch with the emergency uh, sewing guy there. It doesn't have to be an emergency. Maybe that's how you do all your sewing. I don't know. And you get that key ring. And with the plus scales, you get uh, this pin, you know, toothpick, a uh, little straight pin there, and the tweezers. Um, they don't always come with plus scales. You can find them. Um, and especially, I wanted to say this about the climber. Um, because, you know, I, I get so many of these knives and, you know, I end up getting duplicates and selling some and getting new ones and trading and all that jazz. So, but I, I watch these kind of closely, like on eBay and stuff. And you can get yourself a very uh, good climber that's in good shape for like a steal. Like I'm talking like between like five and ten dollars. And um, I'm not saying don't buy a new one, you know, and you and like I think the climbers you can probably get for 20 bucks new and it's it's a steal even then and you get that lifetime warranty and um, you know, there's a bunch of uh, uh, different vendors out there that have the climber for uh, really cheap and you get free shipping and all that stuff. But I'm just saying the, the I think the climber demands respect. Um, the only thing that, you know, that it really changes from this compact that I like so much is you get a little bit more thickness, right? Just a little bit more thickness. Um, you get those openers, as I discussed, you don't get uh, that um, nail, uh, nail file on the hook. For some reason, they don't put that on most of the other uh, hooks that they have. Uh, there's a few other models that, that have the nail file on the hook. Um, but like I said, especially if, if you get the plus scales on your climber, you know, there's not too much uh, that, that you uh, can't do. And you can actually do a couple more tasks than this uh, uh, compact. So anyway, um, buy yourself one of these. If you're just uh, wondering which Swiss Army knife I should get, uh, what's my first Swiss Army knife or something like that, or maybe, maybe you lost one and haven't had one for a while, get yourself a climber, I think, because, you know, it's classic looking. It's got that classic corkscrew that they've had for over 100 years. It's got those awesome scissors that you're just going to find yourself using all the time. Um, and someone messed up the spring in this one a little bit. It wasn't me, I promise. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it's just such a... And usually these scissors are very, very durable. I mean, this is like... Uh, this is probably early 2000s or late 90s. Uh, one that I've just kind of taken care of. And it's awesome. I've never had uh, 
any uh, issues. And you can you can replace uh, that spring on the scissors for pretty cheap and pretty easy. I've done it several times myself. It's not a big deal. Um, look it up online or whatever. I won't go through all that right now. But um, yeah, that's my uh, salute to the uh, Victorinox climber. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to be kind to each other. Swiss Army Dance out of here.